Am okay. I an accident? No. Uh, probably. Is that what you're gonna ask? That's totally no. Most likely I'm an accident. Hey, what's going on? I'm Natalie Kim, and I am super psyched to have Horatio Sands. I'm very psyched to be here. I cast you in one of my uh, yes series short video series. A spawn You're very funny. So Horatio, because you're the guest, you are going to choose the topic and from this really awesome artist and craftsman bag, the best art supply store in LA. Oh, this is from Tim Hamilton. It's Alternator Alien. How fitting. Tim Hamilton is an awesome cartoonist in Brooklyn. Three, two, one, draw. You're like the youngest in your family. I am. I'm the baby of the family. So, have you ever done straight drama, or have you always done comedy? Ever I did. Uh, I did plays when I was in Chicago before uh, Second City. If you didn't do what you do, like oh God knows, I don't know what would happen. Really? Yeah, I would probably get a job working, uh, doing something good for people. But yeah, I don't really have any no any marketable skills. What do you do in between projects, like uh, you know, just keep yourself sane or whatever? Just Luckily, I have a few things I can go to, like just see, like do improv on Sundays if I want with ECB. I saw your Twitter that you uh, were in Baton Rouge. What were you doing there? I was uh, doing a film with my friend Scott Armstrong and Adam Pally and T.J. Miller. I did a day on the movie. I play a Cabana boy. Did you have to do an accent? No, but I had to okay. speak Spanish. Were you voted anything in your high school yearbook? No, not really. I mean, I wasn't even voted, like, class clown or anything, because I never was a class clown. Uh, I always thought the class clowns were trying too hard. Do you find it hard to balance between doing your own thing and then also, like, having a traditionally legit career? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to be obsessed with your career doing anything, so it's just kind of keeping in mind what's, what's the most important thing. What's the most important thing? Happiness at the home. Wherever you live. Describe what a typical fan like that runs up to you. What do they say to you? We loved you. We loved you and Jimmy cracking up. Like Gobi being like people are like I love Gobi because he was high all the time. And it's funny because I didn't. I wasn't really high and I wrote those. What is your process? When I would when I would write for SNL, I would um, I would just turn on the TV, put some music on, and somehow you know because SNL it's like you either write or you or you drown. You laugh a lot when you do your skits. Did you get in trouble for, for that? I was I was kind of told that Lauren's not a big fan of it. I mean, he never told me to stop. He has good taste and he tries to get the best out of people, but that's kind of a cool thing is that people laugh at the table and people laugh in the audience, it's gonna go it's gonna go up. But <laughs> <laughs> you were doing the, the cowbell skit. Did you know that it was gonna be as hilarious? I thought it was gonna get cut because we're all kind of like out of it. Like, we laughed from the minute it was written, you know, and, uh, same thing with Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer, yeah. It, we never did that scene straight. Look at this. Yeah, it's freaking dope. Thank you, T-Money Hamilton. You can follow him on Twitter, too. Thank you so much, Horatio. It was so thank you, awesome. Uh, thank you very much, Natalie. The head is supposed to be an alternator. Because her eyeball is an alternator to the energy, which helps her ship fly. This is a robot, an evil robot. He used to be good, and now he's just setting things on fire. You are so awesome. Really? I thought it was going to be awkward and um, and just like annoying. No, I've been doing a lot of talking lately, so I'm getting better at it. No, I'm joking. You're not <laughs> <laughs>